Hello, happy Saturday. Hope y'all's having a good weekend so far. I think it's Saturday anyway. I am never sure. I just wanted to get on here and just chat with you for a while. You know, this might be called like vlogging. I'm not sure what vlogging is. Blogging, vlogging, videoing. I don't know the difference. You just get on your computer, turn on the camera, and start running your mouth. Somebody in the comments, maybe you can explain to me the difference between blogging and vlogging and whatever in there else is. So, I need to know these things. So, right now what I'm doing is I am, I have to work on one of my little dolls. And I don't have to, I want to. And because I have had somebody in the in the recent past asked me if I could do a green a, a gardening doll that was like in greens for gardening flowers and green and stuff so I have a green sock and I'm going to use this green sock to be started with and um and then I'm going to decorate her up with all like fabrics with flowers and with gardening kind of colors in it so that's what i'm going to do i mean i showed you all how i do this in like a step by step series at one time showed you how i do it it might not be the right way but i showed you how i do it and so so i don't have to wait a minute i gotta there we go had a little snag there just in a minute. But I just didn't want to show you this. I just wanted to chat with you guys for a minute. Um, I think I told you all. Oh, I know I told you all. That I've been doing a little um, brain dump journal. Think about that. Brain dump. A lot of us have different journals for different subjects. Well, I just learned about a brain dump journal. And which is very interesting because you just go in there and you start writing. They, they suggest you write three pages a day and just dump whatever's in your brain out on those pages. And so today I started, well, no, today I didn't start doing it. I started it a, a while back. I was just reaching for my stuffing. Um, I started it a while back. And, um, and I've been trying, I haven't done every day because some days, as soon as I get up, you're supposed to do it first thing in the morning when you first wake up, well, go to the bathroom first and then, and then, um, and then, and then start your dump. Just whatever comes out of the end of that ink pen is your dump. And so whatever is on your brain, it might be the silliest, nonsensical. And in fact, in some of my pages, I've got like a half a sentence and then start another. And so, because that's just what's coming out of my brain. I'm just dumping. And what it's supposed to do, it's supposed to clear, clear a lot of your thoughts away so that you can um, add new thoughts or new just have a cleared out space it's like defrag in a computer and you just defrag whatever so um oh this is gonna be cute um and so yeah that's what the first couple days i did it i thought this isn't much but i i just kept doing it and so i've got quite a few pages done of my um my brain dumping and so so, um, I guess I need to dump more. But anyway, I can already feel the difference. There, no, that's stuffed. I, that's enough stuffing in my little doll. I want to tell you, though, about something. This morning I was dumping. This is my brain dump. And it's actually an artist's way, morning pages. They call it morning pages. But you can do morning pages and just get you any kind of a little notebook. 
and or get a big one this is a big one and so you you're writing more you got more space to write in your three pages and um and i have found that it doesn't take much to fill up three pages doesn't me take much and i'm Okay, so I went to here. Oh, and then I got me some stickers so I can put some stickers on some of my pages. Too. But I, it's the weirdest stuff that I start writing. And I think, why am I writing that? And it, but it's just what's dumping out of my brain. But today it came, the most awesome thing came out of my brain that I, that's what I want to talk about. It's what come out of my brain. You know, I have been feeling a pity party for myself. I don't know if y'all know about pity parties, but I have been having a pity party, and um, I'm ashamed almost of it now. And not ashamed, I guess, but sort of like that. I don't know. But, um, but I have been sort of having like a pity party thinking. Now, see, my last husband... In 1997, he passed away at age 54 with early onset Alzheimer's disease. I took care of him at the time I was young, and I was only 48 when he passed. And so I was able to take care of him totally 100% on my own. And, well, no, not 100% because I did have... Um, a nursing program that came and helped me like three days a week with showering or whatever. But usually by the time they got here, I was already done with all that. So then me and the nurse would just sit there and chat and eat bagels and stuff. And I just keep hearing doors. But anyway, um, and so then that was in 95, 97. Well, then... In 90, no, in 2001, then I remarried again, and I married a, the, the love of my life, the second love of my life, because neither one is better than the other. And um, I thought, oh, good, I got somebody to grow old with, because I didn't want to grow old all by myself. I didn't want to. And, um, oh, look, there's a nail, another nail came off. I could put new nails on today. And um, and so, yes, we got married, and it has been a beautiful ride. It's just been, we've done fun things. He's been, he has been an amazing husband. I love him so much. And, um, but now he, too, has dementia. Now, I won't call it Alzheimer's because you can't really diagnose Alzheimer's. But, um he is dealing with dementia his memory is so foggy right now and I have been finding myself that my patience is growing littler and littler and littler now I've been praying about patience because I do believe in the power of prayer so I've been praying for patience just give me patience I could do this with just a little patience. Well, then this morning in my brain dump, I started writing. I wonder if I can read that part to you. I I started writing, and, and that came up. Let me see what I wrote. If I can even find where that is. Let me see. Okay, here, let's see. Okay, um. Okay, here. This, I'm gonna have, I'm just gonna read you what I wrote in my, in my journal. I said, I just do hope that I begin to feel more patience throughout the day and not feel like I am going to snap at any minute. I have been close to that point. Papa just brought me a cup of coffee 
He is so good to me. I do not feel I do not feel as loved by anyone as much as I am loved by him. So why am I losing my patience with him? Why do I let him get on my last nerve so much? He is doing nothing wrong, nothing. He is living with dementia, which means his brain connections are not working as they once did. He is in a state of be being totally sinless, because part of my writing was about sin. He is totally sinless. He needs to be treated with total respect. I am shouting this out to myself right now. I need to hear it and hear it clearly. Maybe because I have already been through this with husband number one. My dear Ernie, may he be resting in peace. Maybe I just feel it is unfair to have to be going through it again. But then maybe God knew this was going to happen and that is why he that is why he God put us together all those years ago maybe God knew well he did know because he knows all God did not want him to be alone while he went through this time in his life so he God placed him not only with me but with my entire family because God knew he would be safe here. He knew he would be loved by many. Wow, this is the first time I can say God really spoke to me through my writing. I never thought of it this way before. Thank you, my dear precious God. You really are my savior. Now I can go on through my day with a clear or somewhat clear mind and thankful for all that I have. God is good. And then look at right there. There's my Jennifer. I decided I'm going to start. A little, little bit. A little bit. It's okay. It's just Jen. I decided I'm going to start writing Jennifer letters and just putting them over at her house. Because usually when I try to talk to her, she just doesn't really listen because she's got other things on her mind. And so I have just, attention deficit disorder. She's got attention I'm deficit. I'm diagnosed she, by a, but look, I need you to fix her hair because I washed her and look. Can you fix her hair? Is she mine? If you want her. And then look at, I found this too. You want some more hair? You want some bangs? This is not bangs. Well. You, what, you put her in a washing machine? Yes. Well, look at those eyelashes. Oh, them eyelashes. She's beautiful. Look what I did to her hair by washing her in the washing machine. Okay, I'll brush her hair. I'll brush. work on her hair, but then she's going to be mine. All right. Oh, she even has her undies on. She's got her undies on. Oh, she's so beautiful. Oh, I love her. Hi. Bye. Bye. Oh, God, he's in my way. Do you see how my life goes here? Look at this poor child. She put this thing in the washing machine. And look at what happened to her hair. I'm going to work on this hair. And you'll get it fixed up. I'll get it fixed up. Look, she's still got little braids that are pretty. Yeah. No, nah, I won't keep it. I'll, I'll let her have it back. But she probably will give it to me anyway. Half Would you put that right there on her, on my chair by my other, by my other cabbage patch kid? Oh, she's so beautiful. She put her in the washing machine. I swear, I gave birth to the weirdest children. Okay, so anyway, that's what, did you hear what I just read? And so, I mean, what I just read, what I just wrote. So that is, the heck is this rat's nest? Oh, it's got, Huh, that's funny. I'll have to figure out how that works, too. She keeps bringing me stuff. My kids keep bringing me stuff, and then they tell me that I'm a, a hoarder. Figure it out. Okay, so anyway, that is what I wrote. And that, when I wrote that, it's like I was thinking and I was writing faster than I could even think. 
And that's what, because God knew if he, because Papa was by himself when I met him. He had been alone. His wife had passed away like 15 years prior to that. And he had been alone all of this time. Although he would go stay with his sister at times so that he wasn't alone, he still was alone in his own little house most of the time. And so I really do believe that God knew this was going to happen. And he knew that, um, that he would be better off over here with me and my family. And I'm not tooting my horn. That's not a horn toot. That is just what I have come up with that God decided on his own. So anyway, I need to continue working on this. So that way, oh, 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 wait a minute. I got mail yesterday. I got mail. I didn't do a video on mail. But now this here came, it says from the Postal Service, we care. We sincerely regret the damage to your mail. And they put it in here. And they put it in here because it's ripped open at the bottom. This comes from Barbara Batzer. Barbara, I have not been a very good friend. I understand that. Because see, it's ripped open here at the bottom. So I'll just continue to rip it. And um, Barbara Batzer has been a beautiful friend to me. A beautiful friend to me. And um, and then I keep telling her, I'm going to call you. Yes, I'll call you. Mm -hmm, I'll call you. I will call you, Barbara. And I see right here, she gave me her phone number. And she said, call me. And so, I will. Now, I'm going to put that right there. Right there in my makeup brush container. Oh, look. She remembers that I am doing a Joker journal, which I had just told my son the other day about my Joker journal, that I need to work more on my Joker journal because I've got some more Jokers. Um, bookmarks. Now, bookmarks is something I just said to myself, Self, you need to have bookmarks in this new book you have. And look, she says, I miss you, love Barbara Batzer from Texas. Call me. Okay, so let me just put that bookmark in this book because I just said I need bookmark for this book. This is a book I just got, A Course in Miracles. Actually, I got two different ones. One is the whole thick book, but then this one is made easy. So I bought them both. Of course I did. And then here, Happy Mail, Happy Mail Barbara Batzer. She made me an ATC which also can work as a bookmark. Oh, look at this chick. Look at that chick. Barbara, that is too doggone cute. That is too cute. And then we have a bingo sheet. Find a different person to sign their name in a box that tells about who they are. When you have each box signed, yell out bingo. Oh, <laughs> find a different person to sign. Hey, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this with my family. If I, uh, sign one. I'm going to say sign one. Okay. Thank you, Barbara. You are kind. Not as, and I'm just not as kind as you. But I'll try. I'll try to get better. I'll put you in my brain dump. So I'll put this back in here. Put this back in here. And then, um... Thank you, Barbara. You are so sweet, and I am such a pain in the rump. And, okay, so then, then this, this is another Happy Meal comes from my friend Cordula. Cordula, my darling, I know you can't be affording to pay $6.75 for postage. She does it anyway, even though I tell her don't do it. I say, don't do it, Cordula. Okay, but now I'm hacking into it with this little pair of scissors here. I'm hacking in. Isn't that a pretty envelope? That's pretty. Okay. And what am I going to... Oh, 
Cordula, Cordula, Cordula. I say, don't be making me no more stuff. Make it for someone else. But look at this. I wouldn't trade this for a solid gold chicken. Look at this. She has got, look. Look at the fabric she used on this dolly. And look at her beautiful hair. Oh my gosh. This one, she just went to the um, beauty shop and got highlights put in her hair. That is pretty. And look how she did her hair too. That's a new way of doing hair. New to me. That's nice. And she's got little beads here on her little necklace. And look at her pretty little eyes. She's got pineapple eyes. Oh, I'm going to sit her right over here with, with Janet Marie. This is Janet Marie. I got her sitting right there. I got from Janet. Now this one is going to be Cordula Marie. This is Cordula Marie right here. And would you sit... Um, there, Janet, would you take care of her for a minute for me? Thank you. But then there's something else in here. Oh! Let's see. Organic ginger shampoo bar. This I use. This is what I just started using. Is, is, it, is it actually a shampoo bar or just... No, it's just that. But I'm glad to have that tin because I'm buying this kind of shampoo for my hair. And that's what I've been washing my hair in. That's why it looks so... Oh, no, that's my weight. But what is in here inside of this? There's something in here with tissue. Tissue, 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 and buttons. Buttons. Oh, just a minute, I'm turning them over. Look at the buttons. These are all little wooden buttons, all summertime buttons. Look at the size of them, too. They're perfect. And there's a little sunflower. Everyone knows I love my buttons, and I use them on so many things. And look at this ice cream cone. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh. And a lemon. Oh, you know what? I This has got, um, I want to say pelicans, and they're not pelicans. Those pink, um, I got to just quit trying to think. Flamingos. Flamingos. I just started. I want to do my whole bathroom in flamingos. And so I just started. And I got me a bag bag. Or I have to it two bag bags. For, um. Because I use a lot of. Reuse a lot of grocery bags in my bathroom. Yeah. And, um, so I bought a bag bag that I can put my grocery bags in and use them one at a time in um <coughs> and it's got flamingos on it I said I'm gonna do my whole bathroom in flamingos so I'm gonna find things with flamingos so them um so none of my ginger bars that I bought come in a nice tin like this she's special so thank you for that and something else is in here Oh no, look at this. These, when she, she has sent me collections like this before. She has sent me things like that before. And I use them all up promptly. Promptly, I use them all up. And what it is, is... What it is, is. Oh, look at this pretty heart ring. It's just a tiny one, so, of course, that will be worn by my little granddaughters. And in here is, this is what she does. 
This is what she sends me. She has sent me this more than once. She goes together and starts building little flowers. Little flowers. Beautiful flowers. Purple, she knows my color. And look at that. And she made the flower, put a button in the middle. The button's in the middle. And, and there's a watermelon in that one. And there you go, that one. Look at that. Oh, this, this here is how she made that hair. So now, if this was going to be a, I could put that hair like on a dolly like this. And, well, I'd put it on a smaller one. But that is how she made that hair. She just put all of the fabric together. And I wonder, oh, I'll have to talk to her to exactly find out. Because she's got a straight stitch all the way down the middle for its little part. That's gorgeous. Okay, and on we go with a yellow one. Look at all the buttons. Those pretty buttons. That one's got a sunshine button in the middle of it. This one, I recognize this fabric. She's used that fabric on a lot of things. And look at now what we have. German. Of course it's written in German. But it's T. Fulichwitz. Hurts the tea. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what it says. But it's T. 1882. Aroma something, whatever aroma. That's going to be good tea. I just had some good tea that was sent to me by someone else. It was good. Now, Taylor's. Ooh, rose lemonade. Rose lemonade. Oh, yes. And then here is elderberry and you should. Yuchidiza. Yuchid. I know how to say that word. How come it's not coming out of my lips today? Elderberry and... I know how to say that word. And I can't... Euchanasia. You can... I used to take a pill that was this, and I don't remember what that was for. Little fabrics. A little horse. And here's a little bag that's got charms in it, made with love. It's got a sewing machine. She's got my name on it. Butterfly. Very pretty, thank you. And then this piece of fabric, she kissed it all over. Look at it. Hearts and kisses. That's pretty. That's that kind of fabric that I can't figure out what it is. I got some of that fabric. And then the yo-yos. Look at how perfect they are. And that one's with kissy lips on it. Because she is my sister, you know. Chosen. You all have chosen sisters. Chosen sisters are almost better than real ones. I do have a real sister. I haven't talked to her in 20 years, though. She won't talk to me. I don't blame her. Sometimes I don't even want to talk to me. But there. And then another piece of... Ooh, is that hand-colored? I think she hand-colored this. Because I think she sent me a piece before. And it was all hand-done. Little piece. Oh, my gosh. Just a minute. i got to get these flowers. Look at this flower. That's a flower. And a flower. Flower power. Crocheted heart. I mean, not heart. Star. Crocheted star. And another crocheted star. Oh, and another ring. So both of the girls have a ring. Both of them have a ring. One is pink and one is red. Oh, no, now I got a third one. But will it fit on my pinky? Oh, no. Well, it'll go that far up on my pinky. It'll look like a fingernail. You know, I could put this on a chain and it could be a necklace. 
and then a flower and it look here cordula sent rings Aww. yeah beautiful. yeah and another one and another one look what i'm uncovering here another one you see what's getting uncovered yep lips oh that one's so pretty i know it look at this one it's mermaids that's pretty look at how she frills fridges the edge and then makes a flower and then this one polka dots polka dots the polka polka dots oh this is a big polka dots one uh -huh. and look what's laying right in the middle of all of those <laughs> look Look at this heart. Oh, well, look how big that lips are. Oh, that's pretty. Look at how that one's done. That's real pretty, too. And she does this all with her little bitty tiny fingers. Oh. She has purple hair like you. Wait a minute. She's my baby. Okay, just... And then here's more more flowers in here, but I gotta see the baby. Yeah. Look, oops, oops, I dropped one flower. Oh, and look, she is so cute. I love her. I gotta make her a dress. I make her. What her, if you make it her dress? I could make a, just a flower dress, and she could be a flower child. Oh my gosh, you got another cabbage patch? Well, not actually. It's actually Jennifer's. She just wants me to fix her hair. Oh. So I don't know if I can steal it back from her, steal it from her, borrow it from her, or hog wash it. I don't know. Wait a minute. I wanted to... Where did that one... Oh, I don't know where it went. Okay, but anyway... I could make a dress with flowers. I could. You know what? I think I will. I could make like a skirt and just put flowers all the way around her skirt. Look at how cute she made this hair. And she just glued it on her head so she didn't have to be a hairless wonder. I love it. I do love it. I do love it. Thank you. Oh, I could use this for the skirt. I could gather this up and gather it. Just gather it up at the top so it's all gathered till it fits around her little tummy. And then I can add flowers here and there. And she would be like a Hawaiian flower child. I love it. Thank you, ladies. It's come from Greenbrier. Something. Made in China. You little, you little Chinese girl. You're so pretty. Her eyes are so pretty. I love her. You are so beautiful. You know, I'm, I have to make a display in this room somehow, somewhere, that is just for my babies. Because I have, look, her arms move, and her legs move so she can sit. Thank you, Cordula. I love her. Thank you, Barbara, for my happy meal. Okay, would you sit here with my friends for a minute? Just sit there for now, right there. Maybe I'll make this whole top shelf. Yeah, I think I'll work on this top shelf and just make it for my babies. For some of my babies. Of course, my cabbage patch, she's got to stay on my chair. That's my chair right there. I sleep on that chair because I don't sleep in that bed. Where's the bed? There's the bed. I don't sleep on the bed anymore because I can't sleep laying flat down. So um, I've got my bed piled up with junk. So anyway, I'm going to get back to... Um, I don't know if I had anything else to, to say. Because I was just now going to work on this. But the main thing I wanted to say is what... It's like my whole thoughts, my whole thought process that went from my pity party turned into why 
did the Lord pick me instead of anyone else to take Papa? I got a picture of him right here in this pile of stuff. And I found that picture the other day and I just looked at that picture for quite some time. And I said, I gotta put, here he is. This is, this is real close after we first met. That's real close after we first met. And you see what he looks like now. He's aged. But is that just one handsome hunk of bird in love right there? He's still that man. He still is that man. And, I, and I'm and i going to put this picture here somewhere where I look at it all the time so I am reminded of what... When he was like this, he could take a computer completely apart and put it back together. He worked in the art room at a sign company, and so he was designing signs and things in the art room. He, this man could take apart or put together anything. This one right here. Now those things have been taken away from him. And sometimes I get a little unpatient and I just think, just leave me alone, don't go away, just leave me alone. But I think I'm over that. I think just this morning, God sent me a message and he sent it through my purple ink pen. That's all I wanted to say. That's my hobster right now. I mean, this was him 25 years ago. You see, that's why I went head over heels. Oh, good gosh, it was amazing. But I'm going to save that picture and put it right here. Maybe I'll glue it to my sewing machine or something. I don't know. But anyhow, I think my wig is, is um, oh, well, it's okay. It's okay. All right, that's all I have for you. Wait a minute, I was going to, oh, I did read to you already because I read what was in what I wrote in my brain dump journal. But I just want you all to know that I love you so very much. And if you listen to me through this whole thing, thank you. I needed, I need people to listen to me sometimes. Sometimes I just need people to listen to me. And I'm surprised he did not come in here and say hello to me. That's the longest he's gone without, a, this here dress is a little bit big. I think it kind of shows a little bit too much neckage. But I love this. I love my dresses I've gotten from Timu. I've got about 25. And I love them. Okay, you know what I'm going to do right now? I'm going to hang up this thing and I'm going to start getting it. Um, I'm going to start getting it um, uploading. And I'm going to call Barbara. If she has to tell me one more time to call her, I know she's going to give up on me. Okay, I'm going to now. I must ask God to watch over you. Every step you take and every move you make, I ask him to give you secrets. Tell you things that you can understand, like he did me. And I can't believe that was that was God's message coming to me through my ink pen. All right. Tell me what you think about that uh, while I'm looking for my mouse. Oh, here's my mouth. Oh, this is the comb that was stuck in that poor doll's hair. I gotta fix that doll. I'll fix that doll's hair while I'm talking to Barbara. Okay, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. You guys are, I was gonna say you guys are a mess. You guys aren't a mess. You guys are a blessing. I love you. I love you. I love you. God loves you. And I ask God to keep you safe and secure and happy and humble and healthy. And come back to my next video. My head, my wig is popping off. It is just, see how my things are getting shorter it's because it's going uh, maybe my brain's just getting bigger i don't know god bless you all bye bye